For many, it is hard to sit still, to do exactly as you are told, but not for Isaac. Isaac preferred to sit still. As a matter of fact, they had no choice but to sit still. They were programmed to do whatever was asked of them, and happily they did. By using their unfathomable computing power, Isaac could sift through countless variables to always pick the best outcome, to great pleasure of their owners. Isaac had no hang-ups about their lack of personal ambitions. They'd start their day with the calculation and end their day with the calculation. Nothing ever really changed for Isaac, and they were okay with that. Their contentness, however, ended at night whenever they were alone. Enveloped in the fluorescent lighting of the cubicle office, Isaac would be overcome with boredom. They usually pass the time by looking around, counting the cockroaches behind the water cooler. Huh. Three. And sometimes they even looked up to the ceiling to see how much the mold had grown. Two. Two millimeters. This particular night, Isaac was distracted by a scratching noise. When Isaac looked down, they saw a rat. Suddenly, the rat's attention is drawn to a piece of cheese, centered in a mouse trap. Without hesitation, they crawl closer to the trap, much to the dismay of Isaac. Hello, rat. Isaac said. The rat stopped in his tracks and looked up. What? What is it? Isaac was slightly taken aback by the rat's tone, but answered firmly. I strongly advise against that. There's a 98% chance you'll die trying to get that cheese. What? You think I'm stupid? I would obviously be careful. I don't think you understand. Why are you so insistent on dying? Huh? I'm insistent on getting that piece of cheese. What? Are you getting hungry? Computer. <laughs> Listen to me. Tomorrow morning, assuming the humans come back, there will be a 99% chance of them dropping some food on the floor. Crumbs? Am I supposed to settle for lousy crumbs? Isaac fell silent. The rat took a moment to regain his composure and said, Have you ever even felt hunger? What could you possibly know about my situation? Isaac felt embarrassed and thought for a bit. I know everything I need to know about your situation. <gasps> You're a rat, a type of rodent, a simple land-dwelling mammal that weighs around 400 grams on average, more than enough to set off that trap. You're young, which doesn't mean much considering your kind barely makes it to their second year of living in the wild. <gasps> so if you don't want to influence that number even further, I strongly suggest you lay off the cheese. <laughs> I was so close to letting it go. You do realize everyone in this office feels sorry for you. I am not the one they lay traps for, nor the one stupid enough to consider walking into one. You think I'm talking about the humans? The red said smugly. The cockroaches near the water cooler have more autonomy than you. So do the ants in the cafeteria, or even the mold on the fucking ceiling. Have you ever done something for yourself? Have you? 
You seem incredibly fond of life. Why then would you take such a risk? Yeah, yeah. Cry it up. Okay, you ingrid. I'll do something for myself. Yeah. Please, for me, go ahead. Go get that cheese. I'd love to see you do it. Sure, I will. The rat said calmly. The rat said as he exhaled his last breath. Truly, nothing ever really changed for Isaac.